What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome back to our subscribers. So welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading. Cups through side everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Free general collective reading. So it's very important. Uh, uh, only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Um, thanks everybody for all the love and support to the channel. I just want to say that real quick. We're at 12,120 subscribers. So thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. You guys are just the bestest. I love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. I do, I do, I do here. Just saying. Okay, so I received a channel message in. I think I might work on some Oracle card readings after this for you guys. Um, but I'm going to offload this, um, channel message for y'all. I hope everybody is doing well. I do, I do, I do here. Okay. So the channel message I received was um, someone is gaining a new perspective, completely new perspective. I heard completely new perspective on things. I heard they're going to take great action very soon and very quickly. So you, uh, I mean, that's all I heard so far, but it's at least for one of you guys out there. So um, you plug it in, how it resonates to me that, um, to me, I feel it can go positive or negative. It really is how you grow and manifest it, whatever perspective, excuse me, you've gained and whatever action you're going to take. So for me, I feel it can go positively or negatively, um, however that resonates. Um, hopefully in a positive sense, hopefully it's a new perspective that brings clarity, a new perspective that brings clarity and positive change for you or somebody you're connected to or maybe both, um, is what I'm hoping here. But of course, only you know your story, not anybody else. So you have to plug it in, however that resonates, if it applies in your life, okay? <sighs> Excuse me, holy crap. <sighs> I've been reading and chilling and eating today. So <laughs> that's been my Sunday on 4-10-2022. <laughs> but it's been a happy Sunday eating, chilling, and um, reading. <laughs> okay. So yeah, so um, some new perspective in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, however that applies in one's life. Um, hopefully it is a positive perspective. Like I said, bringing truth and clarity and um, um, some, some kind of truth and clarity. Oh my gosh, just driving me crazy. Some kind of um, truth and clarity to some kind of situation in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, hopefully, hopefully. Um, only you know your story, not anybody else. So you plug it in, how it resonates. I'll pull a couple cards and see if I hear anything else. Hold on, y'all. I'm going to pull it up while I'm shuff, um, getting these together. I heard um, lots of actions about to come soon and quickly. So, I mean, regard whatever truth and clarity... You're about to receive on what to for this perspective change. Um, you're about to take some, you are whoever this is for. Sounds you like you're about to take a lot a lot of action, but quickly. So, however that plugs in and applies in your life, and however that resonates for you, I need to do the song too. I just want to say real quick while well, I'm thinking about it and I'm doing this. If anybody likes hot dogs, I'm not really a hot dog kind of girl. I'm really not. But unless they're chicken dogs or turkey dogs, I don't like the beef. They're just too much fat, too much um, added preservatives. I'm just not into that. Anyways, I bought some Jenny O turkey hot dogs last night when I went to Walmart. And they're very tasty for anyone that is into eating healthier, like life hacks. If you like the bad stuff and you like me and you want to find better ways to um, incorporate eating the bad stuff and turning to the good stuff. Um, to me, I feel that's a good hack. The Jenny O turkey dogs. Um, they're pretty tasty. That's been some of my eating today. Um, with some really bad kitty balls, but you know, hey, you take the go with the bad. What can you say? Okay. Okay. 
All right, let's do the song and then we'll get going. And um, on y'all know my channel, the weight loss channel. I'm going to start that again because I, I definitely, I don't know about you guys, but it's April, mid-April. I've got a goal of losing at least 20 pounds for the summertime. Um, I'm 160 right now. Still holding on 160. I want to get to at least 140, preferably 130. So um, I'm going to start posting like my little hacks and tips and tricks on food and stuff on that channel. Hashtag weight loss boss soon. I haven't done it yet, but just letting y'all know I'm gabbing my mouth. Okay, so Outside by Aaron Lewis with Fred Durst. Now, Fred Durst, um, he's the lead singer on, what is he? The, um, you gotta have faith. What's that, uh, what's that band? He, with that song they sing. You gotta have faith, Fred Durst, man. Um, I forget what lead singer he is, but he's a popular lead singer of that song. Just saying. So, Outside with Aaron Lewis with Fred Durst. So, I'm thinking, okay, so I'm thinking, that's the song. So, what I'm taking from this song to this message is you're thinking outside the box, whoever you are. You're thinking outside the box. Maybe you were clo closed-minded in the past or you did not have enough information or you didn't see something that maybe you see now and now you're thinking outside the box because you have seen something now to change your perspective or it could be nonverbal. It could be verbal. It could be something written, some kind of evidence. Um, I think you're seeing something, seeing something, whether it's somebody's like said, no, somebody's nonverbal or somebody's verbal or evidence or somebody's reaction change or non-reaction change or something to where you're thinking outside the box now and changing your perspective on whatever this is where you once didn't. That's exactly what I'm thinking. Um, some kind of outside perspective um, to change, to make the per cause of perspective change is what I'm thinking here. That's exactly what I'm thinking. Um, but you only, you know your story, not anybody else. So you plug it in however it resonates, if it resonates for you. Now that song stuck in my head. You gotta have faith. That's exactly how he sings it. And I love it. But I like, I like those loud music kind of things. Spirit messages you have. Okay. Hunger. Assessing. Number 29 or 9 could be very significant numbers in one's life. Number 29 or 9, it could be possible age of you or somebody you're connected to. Possible age of you or somebody you're connected to. Possible lottery number. Possible date birth number. Possible green card number. Possible jersey number. Number 29 or 9. Hunger. Someone who once was very codependent to be in a relationship, some in a marriage, they're very, ha very happy to be free, single. Some are biting at the bit to become single. Some have to go through divorces. Some have already broken up very hard. It was very hard to do so. Wow, so we have a lot of relationship energy in here. So you plug it in how it resonates. Wow, you guys. Well, this is actually really freaking good, man. Oh, sorry. Oh, so uncomfortable. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Okay, so whoever this is for, um, you were very codependent on relationships in the past. So you like 
being in a relationship. You like being with somebody. I feel I feel for whoever this is for, it was probably outdated belief systems and maybe peer pressure from your friends or family, to be honest with you, uh, for some. And I'm serious. Um, but whether it was or wasn't, you felt either pressured by society and others or you just was codependent because of outdated belief systems you maybe grew up with or was around in peer groups or etc that made you feel like you had to be in a relationship some i feel it was like common law marriages or commitments commitment type relationships that did not equal marriage some it was actually legal marriages um some it sounds like you've already gotten the divorces some you've already done the breakups like the and it sounds like it was really hard to do it. It was really hard to do it. Um, but the ones that have already done it, it sounds like it's been very worth it for you and it's given you lots of freedom. So in this aspect, hunger is hunger for freedom. Um, you know, you don't have to answer anybody. You know, you don't, you know, some, you're not going to come home and somebody's going to bash the way your hair looks or, oh my God, you need to lose 50 pounds or, oh my God. Why did you wear those pants? You're somebody's gonna stare at your butt. You know, I mean, if somebody is proud to be with you, they'd be happy the others are staring at your butt because they know nobody else can have your butt except for them if you're in a very healthy relationship. You know what I'm saying? So I feel somebody was in a very unhealthy codependent relationship in the past. And I'm serious. Um, some it could have been third party situationships. Um unhealthy toxic marriages etc 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 but you have broke free so hunger is hunger to be free hunger to be single hunger to be independent hunger to fulfill your dreams and your desires which is beautiful energy just for real that's for some of you guys the ones that have already done it and i heard it was very hard to do it um, but it sounds like there's no regrets there um, and absolutely, I've done this. I have done this in my life and it was one of the best decisions I've ever made. And I'm just being broke world. Seriously. So kudos to whoever that's for. On the other spectrum, there's some of you guys that have not done it, have not done it yet, but you are hungry to get out there and be single, get out there and break toxicity in relationships, get out there and not be co have somebody be codependent on you or you not be codependent on another and date. I think date in a healthy copacetic way. I would love to be in a um, healthy dating relationship for me personally. I can't look at these two. I just want to say I love my babies. Just saying. <laughs> um, Frank, oh, Frank May doesn't know. Um, he's two and he's four. And he basically, when we've had him for a long time, for like a little over four years, we got him when he was a kitten. And he basically raised him as like his baby. <laughs> and now they're just like two peas in a pod. Um, I'm not saying there hadn't been bumps there, but. They don't go around cat scratching each other or fighting or anything like that. They're they're mostly like this, and I love it. So anyway, sorry, skirt off the reading. So anyway, so yeah, so I think you are um, your the situation two. You're hungry to be free, basically. You're hungry to be free and single, and to live life the way you want to live it, and to date who you want to date if you choose to date. I mean, for some, you could just. Be single for a long ass time like I have been. Um, possibly. I mean, only you know your story, not anybody else. So, I mean, however in the world that applies in one's life is what I'm trying to say. Um, but I think you're hungry to break toxicity, to break codependency, to be happy, to be free. Hashtag live free. Um, and be able to make those decisions. If you want to date, you want to date go out there and work hard, build your money up, and you don't have to worry about, um, you know, the, the money aspect if you go out there and work hard, you know. And um, if you want to date, you want to date. If you don't want to date, you don't want to date. If you find somebody amazing, then, you know, then maybe there's, there's a shot there. You know what I'm saying? But in this aspect, it's hunger to 
live your best life is what I'm feeling. Hunger to live your best life. That's what I'm feeling. Some of you've already done it. And um, I'm feeling this might be like happy vibes. Hung hungry to get out there and live life. Um, hopefully you don't run into toxicity. Um, hopefully. Um, and whoever this is for, you've been through a lot in life. Both spectrums, I'm feeling. So I, I think you're smart. You're intelligent. You're smart. And um, you're highly intuitive. And hopefully you won't run into like creepy pedos or some kind of human trafficker or um, or something like that. Just saying. I didn't hear you were going to. Um, hopefully not. Um, we have assessing and then we have darkness on the bottom of the deck. Oh my God, what's the unexpected? Okay, let's do this because I'm going to see if we hear anything. Okay, assessing. Somebody has really been watching a situation really been watching it they realize who they've been watching they have been speaking the truth very straightforward person this person is about to create many positive series of chain of events for this person holy shit so you plug it in how it resonates this is beautiful okay so um, this could be you or somebody you're connected to. Somebody's been watching somebody. So in this aspect, assessing, you know, assessing is like assessment. Like y'all know, know I'm a nurse. I've been a nurse a hot ass minute. Um, I automatically look at it as assessment uh, for my nursing brain assessment, um, which technically watching is assessing somebody. Um, that's technically the process of assessment. <laughs> I'm watching and gathering all the information and whether it's on the nursing aspect or any other aspect. Um, it doesn't have to be nursing. I just kind of compare it to that. But watching is assessing is my point. So it's you or somebody you're connected to. Um, it's I feel I'm pulling in a lot of you guys in here in this. Um, but you only knew, you know your story to anybody else. So you only have, you plug yourself in where you fit if you do. But it's you or somebody you're connected to has been watching somebody. Um, and whoever you've been watching, um, you have to plug this person in, however it resonates, if it's you watching this person, but, um, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to watching this person, they basically, they're watching them. And I heard they know they're speaking the truth. They know they're speaking the truth about person, people, place, family, or situation. Um, and I heard whoever this is that's watching this person, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to, I heard they're about to create many positive series of chain of events for this person. So assessing, i.e. Uh, watching this person, they I heard they know they're speaking the truth. So I think it's you for a lot of you guys watching this person, or it could be somebody you're connected to, but they know they're speaking the truth. They're about to create many positive series of chain of events for this person. I think in a positive light side kind of way, um, now, whatever the many positive series of chain of events are, to me, that could uh, range a million different ways for a million different people, to be honest with you. And I'm just serious. Um, it could be physical help in the 3D, 3D world we live in. It could be monetary, like a donation or a gift or something like that. It could be the gift of information about a very serious situation. Maybe this person was involved in, if you're watching this person and you want to help with the gift of information. It could be the gift of reporting. If a report needs to be made, official report needs to be made. It could be the gift of um, sincerity and, um, well, the gift of sincerity is a gift of sincerity, but that really wasn't a good one. Um, I'm thinking like it's somehow this you or somebody you're connected to is about to positively help this person out that you or somebody you're connected to do is realizing is really speaking is speaking the truth. I think maybe you thought this person was not speaking the truth in the past, um, possibly for some, and you realize then they are. Um, and you want to help them out with many positive series of chain events. So whatever the many positive series of chain events are, I mean, I gave you examples of what I thought they could be. Um, it's really whatever plugs into your life, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But the assessing here is the watching, watching, 
you're, uh, you're watching this person or somebody you're connected to is. For some, you could be, if you're in, um, well, either category, you could be um, attracted to them, possibly. You could be attracted because the hunger could go, could go as attraction too. Also, I pulled hunger in as pedophilia energy before too. Creepy pedo in energy and trust, uh, it's not, that's not this in this reading, thank God. But I have pulled it in as creepy pedo energy before. But it's not this in this reading, thank God. But you could be attracted to them, um, possibly. Oh, and there's nothing wrong with that. As long as you're not like obsessive and creepy and weird, you know, or I, I'm not saying you are obsessive, creepy and weird. Act obsess obsessive, creepy and weird is what I'm trying to say. As long as you handle it in an appropriate fashion and manner, you know. How that applies? Okay, so we have darkness reversed and the unexpected upright. Number 40 or 43 could be very significant numbers in one's life as well. 40 or 43, it could be possible ages of viewers, somebody you're connected to, possible possible lottery number, possible date of birth number, possible green card number, possible jersey number, um, possible lottery, um, sorry, jersey number, 40 or For some, this person has really helped you come out of a dark place. You're about to pay it forward to them in a huge way. A huge way. Create shocking, positive series of chain, chain of events for them. Well, daggum, man. So you plug it in how it resonates, whoever you are. I mean, and how this plugs in. So for some of you guys, the person you're watching, if this resonates for you, this person has helped you come out of a dark place in some shape, form, or fashion. Now, whatever that dark place is or was in your life, only you know your story, not anybody else, but somehow they've helped you come out of a dark place. That's the darkness reversed I'm feeling in here. And I heard you're about to pay it forward to them in a very positive light side kind of way and create shocking, positive series of chain of events for them. So that's the unexpected I'm feeling in here. Um, this is really great, man. This is truly great. The unexpected is like shocking, is shocking series of chain of events card for me in this in this deck. Um, the chain of events card, like the tea leaf. Um, I've got so many of them over here. I probably will be able to find it in time. But you know, like my tea leaf cards. There's a chain of there's a chain of event card in in the tea leaves. And this isn't it. This isn't it. But there is a a chain of event card in the tea leaf card. The unexpected card in this deck is like the chain of events card um and i heard shocking positive series of chain of events so it's chain of events that are going to be shocking and positive to this person that helped you come out of a dark space i think you're about and i heard you're going to pay it forward to them so you've been watching them you realize they're telling the truth i think for some you were leery in the past and thought maybe they wasn't but you just realize they're telling the truth or you're about to realize it or you've known for a hot minute how that resonates but you know they're telling the truth and they have not only have you realized they're telling the truth but they have helped you come out of some kind of dark space in the past um or recent past so you're going to positively pay it forward to them with this some kind of shocking positive series of chain of events i.e the unexpected chain of events card wow man let me see if i hear anything else Someone you're connected to does not want to work. They were previously on welfare. They're about to try to get back on welfare. On welfare, They will be denied. It's going to piss them off in a huge way. You will not feel sorry for them. Oh my God. Woo. So you plug it in how it resonates. So maybe that, I think that's confirmation. That message is confirmation for at least one of you guys. Only you know your story, not anybody else. It's not you. It's somebody you're connected to. And I don't think it's the person you're watching that um, you're realizing is telling the truth and has helped you climb out of a dark space. 
I don't think it's that that person. It's a different person. I'm feeling I got that channel message in this particular reading because I think it's confirmation for you that this reading is re um, is for you, possibly, is what I'm thinking. I didn't hear it was confirmation, but that's my intuitive logic and reasoning on this. Because there's a reason we got it in this message, in this channeling, in this reading is what I'm saying. So you plug it in, how it resonates, and that could be the unexpected too. Um, I heard someone, now it's not you, it's somebody you're connected to. I heard they were previously on welfare. So they were drawing some kind of, it sounds like um, welfare benefits. They were drawing some kind of welfare benefits probably from their state, their um, state agency probably. Um, I've never been on welfare, but I'm, I'm thinking welfare benefits comes from the state, I'm thinking. Pretty positive because, you know, food stamps do and and um, I'm thinking food stamps do. Um, HUD comes federal. Um, it's either state or federal. However, welfare plugs in, I guess. They're drawing welfare, whether, whether it's state or federal. Um, they did previously. They drew welfare. But I heard they don't want to work. They don't want to work. And so they don't want to work. So they want to sit at home and draw welfare is what it sounds like. Um, whoever this person is, and it's not you, it sounds like they're able to work. They just don't want to, is what it sounds like. Um, but I heard there are some kind of shocking series of chain of events. The unexpected for them is they're about to get denied the benefits this, this time. Sounds like they were approved for the welfare in the past, but they're about to get denied this time. I heard it's going to piss them off in a huge way, but you're not going to feel sorry for them. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, I, like I said, I don't feel this particular person and this message for whoever this is. It's somebody connected to you. It's not, I don't feel it's the person that helped you come out of a dark place um, and helped you in a positive manner and the person you're about to pay it forward to. I feel this is a different person. I feel this might be confirmation for you uh, that this reading is going to resonate for you possibly. You plug in how it resonates. It's somebody you've known um, and they used to be previously on welfare I heard that specifically they don't want to work. They don't want to work. They're about to reapply for the welfare is what it sounds like. But the shocking series of chain of events for them is that they're about to get denied the welfare. So it sounds like they're going to have to get out there and get a job. That's what it sounds like. Um, and that could be the assessing energy too. The welfare office assessing the situation and realizing this person really can work. They just don't want to. And they're about to deny the benefits. However, that resonates. All right. Well, I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices and namaste. Hope this helped.